here with second year Northwestern State women's basketball coach Jordan Dupuis. The Lady Demons at home for two more. I know that's got you feeling good, coach. Uh, kind of recap real quick. Saturday against Central Arkansas, a much better effort. You're uh, ahead of one of the top teams in the conference in the fourth quarter. And I think, uh, as we've talked about for the past couple weeks, this is a short bench you have. And I think maybe we saw a little bit of that at the end Saturday. Yeah, it got to 48-48. And uh, I think there was about 340, 350 uh, left in the game. and really just didn't make an offensive play from, from then on um, and got into uh, a fouling uh, type game and tried to prolong the game toward the end. They made their free throws. We continued to not score and eventually they, they pulled away. But was proud of the effort. Um, I've said it a hundred times. I don't believe in moral victories. There's, there's no such thing. Uh, I think in a loss, I think the only mistake you can really make in a loss is if you don't learn from it. Um, I think our defensive game plan was good. Uh, we, we dumbed it down for lack of, of a better term um, and just didn't do as much that we've been doing defensively, uh, which to me translated into the fact that we didn't create as many turnovers as we usually have, but also kept the number of possessions down. And, and I told the ladies before the game it was going to be a 15-round championship bout from the standpoint of, you know, we're going to have to take some blows, we're going to have to give some blows, and it's going to be tight at the end. And, and they just got the last punch in, I guess. And, um, you just got to take it, move on from it, and realize you've got two more home games this week and, and hopefully capitalize on it. I think consistency is something every coach wants to see. You're 20 games in. I think you've, we've talked about this several times on these Monday interviews or pregame interviews. You took a step. You took a step. You took a step here. You took a step there. Now, how do you build? How do you make sure they take that next step? You know, it's, it's about doing all the little things, um, both on and off the court. Uh, they've got to realize that you know, it's hard to be consistent on the court if you're not consistent away from it. You, if, if you don't have it uh, in both of those areas and in the classroom, uh, you're, you're not consistent. Um, and, and so that goes to team chemistry. Uh, it goes to being able to uh, take coaching. It goes to execution out of timeouts. Uh, so it's all the little things that, that you have to do in order to win games. Everybody knows in conference what coach is going to do what, what's their tendencies. Uh, so it comes down to the things that aren't going to necessarily show up on, on a stat sheet. Uh, and, and that's what we're getting better at, but we're not making enough of those plays and doing what we need to in the end to pull out a victory. We're close, but close isn't going to get it. You've mentioned the 15-round fight against Central Arkansas. You'll see them later this year. But you'll start this week with UNO, a team you saw right now five days ago. It'll be seven days between games. There was a situation last year where you went out to Abilene Christian and, and got run off the court came back and played them down to the wire here. Incredible game, one of the more memorable games from last year. Can you do the same thing? Can you apply that to, to this situation against New Orleans? No, I think you can. Um, I, in fact, after our game Saturday night, um, after speaking about our game Saturday night, I turned our attention to UNO and, and gave them that, that same exact scenario. You know, we lose 79-51 at ACU last year, and then we lose by one point here. I think it was 75-74. Uh, and, and our starting point guard went down with four and a half minutes left when we had the lead. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's something that they can definitely learn from. Um, UNO is, is going to feel the pressure coming in here because they know that we've got revenge on our mind uh, and they know that we're going to make some adjustments uh, in order to be able to, to play them closer. Uh, we've just got to do a much better job defensively. We're going to do some things that don't put us in as much scramble situations as we did last, last time um, and hopefully we'll execute a little better. But there's no doubt in my mind that uh, we can definitely make that, that turnaround. You know, we lost, uh, I think, 81-63 last week. To me, there's no reason we can't come out on top on Wednesday. We talked about the short bench and how tough that's been with you know nine, <clears throat> nine available players for the last five games. There has been some good that's come out of that. It's certainly your sophomore class, and I think Saturday what you saw from Jocelyn Scott and Victoria Miller, those two at times much like this team, have taken steps forward and simply right now are probably just looking for consistency. Exactly. You just said the word. Again, it goes back to consistency. You know, Jasmine had a great game against Sam Houston and has basically been non-existent since then. Um, so, you know, we need people to, to be consistent. You know, Libba at 30 against Southeastern and comes and, and doesn't play well at all against UNO and now she's out for no telling how long. So, again, we're just not finding that consistency from, from day to day. and. You know, it's not about scoring 25 points. It's about just knowing as a coach, I'm going to get a certain thing every single time that they step out. And right now there's not one player uh, that gives me uh, the, the same thing every time out. So, you know, it's, it's difficult from a coaching standpoint, but you got to keep working through it. 
Um, they're continuing to work. Um, I think the effort uh, and the enthusiasm was there uh, Saturday, um, which it wasn't uh, against UNO. Um, and so now the other E that has to come along with that is execution, and that's what we're going to work on today in practice. We'll look a little farther ahead now. It'll be round two against McNeese. You're kind of getting into this thing where you're seeing teams for the second time, and uh, you and Coach Cryer came in the same time, second year. A little bit different. You played them about a month ago, so a little different situation than UNO. It, it, it is, um, but it was the tale of two, two different kinds of games. Uh, we started out 26-13 in the first quarter. Um, playing the way that we wanted to. The game was kind of called differently uh, from that point on, and um, we never adjusted. They let a lot go from a, a physical standpoint, especially on the glass, uh, and we never adjusted, never got tougher ourselves. Um, ended up uh, getting down by a good bit, pulling ourselves all the way back, and then losing by five. Um, so again, it's, it's just one of those things you've got to learn from it. Um, you've got to be able to, to execute. You've got to be able to play uh, as physical as they're going to play, uh, if not exceed it and realize that you've got your home floor advantage, so you've got to take advantage of it. So, you know, it's, it's a game that, again, revenge is going to be on the mind, um, but first and foremost, we've got to take care of Wednesday first. And I think probably playing Central Arkansas, which, as you mentioned, very physical, probably a good lead-in to if case that same situation happens against it, it is. Central Arkansas is always a very tough, defensive-minded, physical team, uh, which is why they win a lot of games. Um, Coach Rushing's always been that way with our teams. Um, they're very tough-minded, very uh, well-coached, and, and they do a great job of scouting. So it, it prepared us um, for, for what we're going to have to do this week, especially on the glass and defending the post, and hopefully it's something we'll carry over uh, and continue to do all week. Now, for those of you, for those who don't know, you were a high school football player. You had some pretty good teammates down at Catholic Baton Rouge, one of whom uh, was a pretty good running back and yeah. eventually went to pro football. So appropriately enough after you guys get done with this week it's super bowl sunday yeah patriots eagles for consistency's sake we've already seen what mike mcconathy had to say what's your pick my pick is going to be the patriots um they're they're kind of like uh alabama uh, in my opinion not that i bet on alabama because that would be wrong and we're not allowed to do that um but i've told people that uh, you don't really ever bet against nick saban and i don't think you bet against Bill Belichick. I know that's that statistic where every year that Saban's won, Belichick hasn't, but I think this year it's it's going to be broken. Um, you know, Brady versus, I know Foles isn't really a backup quarterback, but hasn't had the time this year to to kind of get in complete rhythm. Um, so I just think the Patriots will end up, end up winning. I think it's going to be close, but I think a 27-24 game, something like that. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.